Vivi is entranced by Greatest Showman. Good morning, everybody. Sarah's got a baby on her shoulders eating her hair. She's loving it. She is? Yeah. She's supposed to be taking a nap, though. What? Naughty girl. Yeah, so we know Uncle Peter and Aunt Sarah are here. Alrighty, friends. So, Peter took a quick break from work. We only have about an hour. Um, I just finished editing the vlog. It'll go up soon. Um, but yeah, we are going to Kojak's with Peter's old boss from the Disney store. But she's more than just your old boss. To be right. She is the best. Um, we mentioned her before. Her name is Rocky. And um, yeah, they, we are going there. It's like, a, it's like your typical burger, hot dog, french fries. Um, place but my family used to go there every single well basically every single Wednesday when I was young because my family I think I mentioned this before and my, those like five things you didn't know about there um, Wednesday lunch having lunch at Taylor every single Wednesday so yeah Look at this display. Have we just not found food like this in Florida? Or do they not uh, make food like this? We probably just haven't tried outside of Disney. Yeah. But I was gonna say, like, they just don't make food like this in Florida, but they might. They might. We're back home. I'm about to do a conference call with work for a meeting. Sarah's down there getting the Vlog set up and Grant's down there playing FIFA. I thought you were going to the DMV. He's not paying attention to you. Grant, I, I thought you were going to the DMV. Right, um. I'm done with work. Grant's home from work. Grant's home from the DMV. How long did you spend with the DMV? Three hours. Spent three hours in the DMV. I don't have my sunglasses. We're walking to the grocery store to pick up. We have what? Philly? Chicken Philly. Chicken Philly sandwiches. But I wanted to show this weird stuff that Grant and Christina drink now. What is it called? It's your cult. I used to drink it in the Philippines when I was a little kid. You called it? It's a probiotic. It's so good. Side note, he grew up in the Philippines. So good. That's what we're doing. And then I don't know what we're doing tonight. Cod. He's obsessed. So Grant is my aficionado on world travel. Travel, And here at Pete's Fresh Market, he said he saw this and it was like, Peter, that is so good, you should get one. So we got one. Very good. On sale for 99 cents, imported from Brazil. What does it taste like? Give me, give us a, a description before I try this. It's like uh, nothing you've ever tasted before. I don't, I don't, it's, I feel like I don't think you've like had a, Beverly before. Have you had Beverly before? Yeah, I have. It's terrible. I love it. Um, it's like, kind of like a cherry. It smells cherry -y. It smells it's like medicine. It's cherry, but it's not. It's good. It's really good. There you go. It's really, it's really good. It tastes like the raspberry one in Club Cool, though. Look at these two pumpkins. The temperature drops. I know, it's cool out. Nice out. The air conditioning's on. You're just gonna relax. I'm gonna go help Grim install license plates and car seats into their new car. What? Okay. Okay. This is called Ultimate Godfather Skills. I have this baby, and I just put the license plates on. I didn't put them on the same time. This is their new car. Grant's parents had it, and uh, Grant got in a little scuffle with his with his VW. So they got this 2004 2004 Honda CRV. Hooking up with the baby. Them I totaled it. Something. No, I didn't say that, but I'll tell them now. Yeah, Grant totaled their VW that they got. <laughs> but it was everything was okay. No one was hurt, right? Not not even their car was damn. Their car was fine. Their car was fine, but My his was totaled. Totaled. They got hooked up with custom fans. <laughs> custom <laughs> fans. You look at that four USBs. You guys need. I need four USBs. You don't need four USBs. You see that, sir? I said that um, Carolyn and Ben have to tell us where they got those those fans that are rechargeable for the strollers because they look just like that 
for the babes. Charged with USB. For the babe in Disney World. Yeah, you. <gasps> oh my gosh. What's mama doing? Is she crazy? You petrified? What's she doing? Gosh. She wants the camera. Can you check if you can see her? You hold the camera? There you are, baby. There you are. You for your first set of fireworks. Yeah, okay. Tomorrow. Has she seen fireworks yet? Guess what, guys? So I'm covering this license plate. It is 11 p.m. And in true Brookhart fashion. Are we going to bed? Not. What are we doing? This is something that we didn't get to do last trip out. What else do? We're going downtown Chicago, yeah. baby. Let's go have some fun. <laughs> Wait a minute. The Burkhart's never getting this sleep per use, but we parked in our fav one of our favorite like downtown Michigan Avenue parking spots, right in front of the classic and famous and historic the Drake Hotel. We spent our wedding night right up there. Yep, and we got we had right before we got engaged, we had dinner there, and then Peter proposed to me. Yeah, our window. We set like one of those three windows right there in the Cape Cod restaurant, and I proposed right there and it's so i'm so happy to see that like they're taking care of somebody took ownership of this park i love this trash can i love this sign i love all the gum on the ground i love that biker i love this jaywalking i love i love it all me too guys the thing is i don't know if any of you truly grasp how deeply deeply Sarah and I love, love downtown Chicago, Illinois. The greatest city, the greatest city in the world. on the face of the earth. So this is John Hancock building. It's super tall. Oh baby, look at that. And right there, if you didn't know, so we've got the American flag, the Illinois flag, and then the Chicago flag. Um, it'll be kind of a toss up of which one I get first. But we haven't talked about the fact that I've been talking about for weeks slash months I'm going to get the Epcot symbol on my arm. But I'm also going to get, can you point on this arm where I'm going to get, right around there I'm going to get the Chicago flag in just black uh, thin outline. It's already designed and everything. Black thin outlined around my forearm, like by my elbow, just, just past my elbow. That's going to be my other tattoo. And I know you're like, Peter, wow, you're getting a bunch of tattoos. A lot of people get their first tattoo and then they go crazy and get a bunch. I've had my one tattoo for seven years and I've not got another one, but I've been thinking about... I like, like that they're really planned out though. And yeah. Like and we've been thinking about these two tattoos for a long time. Probably the Chicago flag the longest. I've got one kind of, but more so the Chicago flag. Yeah. Okay. So this looks like a cool new thing. Lighthouses on the Mag Mile. Chicago does a lot of cool stuff like this on Mag Mile, like where they have different people um, like decorate different items and they go all along. So I'm excited to see more. Giardelli, some free chocolate. Close mm. up though. Came a few hours, a few hours late. Casual. This is just, just shopping for the next car, you know. <laughs> you know. Something like a good eco mileage. <laughs> if you ever come to Chicago, you have got to come to Italy. To. To. It looks like a it's like three or four floors of just pure, authentic like Italian. Just the store. But what you don't see is the second floor is like an Italian market. Yeah. Different sections of the cheese the and, and the pasta. Cheese and produce. Oh, <laughs> look at the casing of cannoli casings. Oh my gosh, we forgot to mention. Um, Oh. We did venture off of Michigan Avenue. Yeah, we're just, just exploring, exploring everything. <laughs> I love this city. Yeah, we really do. I think we've talked about this before, considering there is a couple in Orlando and around the country. We're at 516 Clark, Maggiano's Little Italy, the original. 
let's go to the side. Well, this is, it's important because this is where our reception was for our wedding. Yes, yeah, so we got married. And we realized that we were right by the ho by the church yeah, that we got married in, and we forgot to vlog it because we were in a rush to meet Rocky for lunch. But here is a sneak peek on the inside here. Super authentically Italian. This is the original. So if you go to like any of the Maggiano's, it's kind of like a franchisee of it. But I, all of them are really good. But this is the catering hall over here, the banquet hall, the Maggiano's banquets. We had this room here was a bar. Oh, you can kind of see center walk-in. And so the actual dance floor and eatery was like from here to here. It was the best wedding anybody has ever been to ever. Huh? Wouldn't you say? I mean, don't call me or her biased, but it was the best wedding of the world. Yeah, I what like it. Where should we go to now? Because we were like, let's go to Maggiano. Do you want to walk to down State Clark? Street? Oh yeah, let's go to Let's Clark. walk down the Clark, past the river, then we'll go to state. Yeah. Have we told you how beautiful Chicago is? Because, um, I'm gonna top it off, she's here right now. So in fact, this is where Peter's brother and our sister-in-law got engaged. Oh yeah, we're on Clark on Street. Road, yeah. yeah, they got engaged on this bridge. I don't know if it was that side or this side, but. All oh, like this river walk was redone, like since we've had a chance to like enjoy it. I know, so we actually haven't even too much time. I'll say it again. God, look at that background. It looks so good right now. That Disney World's the best place. Chicago's the best city. Look at this beautiful, beautiful fountain. I mean, I wish it was something else besides the founders of Millennium Park, because Millennium Park is this gorgeous, huge park. There's a place to, for bands and to go ice skating in the winter. There's a band shell over there. Designed by the same architect that did the Disney Hall Concert hall out in California. We actually had our first day here because we were 16 years old and didn't have any jobs. So didn't we, have jobs and we, what, we, we got, literally like walked around. We got dropped off at the, the subway and took like the three dollar subway downtown. Yeah. Ooh, they have like really, if you're ever in Chicago in the summer, they have great like movies and symphonies and different events like yeah. in that for free. And you can like picnic and bring all your... Wizard of Oz was playing here. They do like the, the summer movie selection is amazing here. We are about two blocks away from where the river and Michigan Avenue meet, which is the historic beginning point of the Magnificent Mile, the one mile strip of all the fancy awesome shops. I feel like we've explained this on the Fat Five 207, but not on our daily channel, but this is a famous bridge. On our very first date down here, first of all, come on, asphalt and then cobblestone, Michigan Avenue. It's not really a bridge, it's a ledge. Yeah, it's a ledge, but that ledge right there, for whatever reason, 16-year-old Peter and Sarah were like, let's be cute and flirty with each other, and let's have a spitting competition. Let's see who can spit the furthest into that alley. Typically, I think it's like 50-50. I wouldn't say typically I win. I'd say it's like really is 50-50. Who can spit further? But who just won? You didn't. Won this time, but there's always next time. So we always try to- We've been talking too much, we didn't have enough spit. Yeah, we've really been talking a lot. Just talking about how much we love that, and we love this, and we love this, we love over there, we love there. Look at that blue building. I forgot that it would be up. Where? See it? The no. massive one. Oh, the giant one, yeah. Wow. Beautiful. 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 Sarah's background, us in the wedding day. We were on that side of the bridge walking this way. We've walked like five miles, I think, I so far. And we still got another mile to go back to our car, but feels good though. It's called the Magnificent Mile because from here to the lake is mine. Well, yeah, and this is all the good shops between here and the Drake. Yeah, but that's where our, uh, our car is. Perfect, perfect planning. Well, does it surprise any of us that we made our way over to somewhere where all the magic lives? The second largest Disney store in America, second to Times Square. We just met, we just pulled to it. But look at this detail. This is from like the 90s. Like, this carving, this the tiles, the things that we have in common far outweigh and out, out number and outweigh those that divide us. We're home. I gotta work tomorrow still. Mm -hmm. Last day before the long weekend then. Because I'm taking Thursday oh, and Friday. Nice. Um, thanks for following along. Yeah. We can't wait to bring you on a more in-depth adventure in Chicago because I want to go on an in-depth adventure in Chicago. 
like not a holiday one, but like just good old fashioned Chicago. Yeah. Daytime and nighttime. Yeah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.